you how to draw structures, chemical structures with your computer and also like clip them, paste them. And this clipping and pasting you use for everything. So I think it's real helpful. So for instance, let's say I'm working on the banana oil material and I want to add like the structure to this IR. So I think, can I copy that? I don't think I can just copy that file, but what I can do for the image, let's see if I highlight it, copy it, yeah, yeah. So what I can do is I can go over and maybe start up like a uh, new Google slide, and you can do the same. Uh, if you have a Gmail account, you can just make one if you don't. And then if I paste in that picture, that, uh, Whoops. The IR. Make it bigger. And then I'm going to add in the structure banana oil and label the signal. So I'm going to do it first with Marvin Sketch, and I'll show you how to do it another way. If for some reason you can't download Marvin Sketch, so just drag out a bunch of carbons first. Add my carbonyl on this end. And banana oil, it's going to have an oxygen here, and then it's got one, two, three, four four and it has a branch right there and then I'll grab my uh, atoms and then oils iso pentyl one two three four five yeah that's it and I like to see lone pairs so I'm gonna go to view advanced lone pairs okay now I've got my structure there and I think the best way to get it from here into Google Slides or PowerPoint or Word or Google Docs, wherever you want to put it, is to take a little screenshot of it. Or like a little, it's like not a full screenshot, but it's a partial screenshot. And the way I do it on my Macintosh, if you have a Mac, is you, you hold down the Control Command Shift keys and then you type the number four and watch what happens to my, my icon. I have, I'm just holding Control Command Shift now and when I hit four, it becomes a crosshair and everything freezes and I can draw out the box over what I want to clip, got it, and then I can go over to my um, thing and just clip it down in. And when I, I, I did Command V and it just pasted. It's basically copy pasting. Okay, so that's one way to do it. And then we could draw arrows off of that. And let's say for some reason you're having trouble getting Marvin Sketch to download and work on your computer, then go to this website. Uh, it's right here. This this website. Uh, the way I find it, I just type in NMR predictor. I'll show you. NMR predictor, and it's this predict HNMR spectra thing. There's probably other things like this online, but this one works pretty good. So when I come here, <clears throat> it takes a second to load, but now it's got this little drawing program over here, and I can uh, draw out what I want there. It's kind of okay. It is. It took a little. Sometimes it takes a little while to open up, but just be patient. So I had that drawn that before. Let's erase all that. And now for banana oil, let's see, we'll do it out like we did before. We'll go this, that, and then one, two, three, four, five. Get the eraser out, erase that, and add my oxygens. There you go. And on this one, I don't know how you would add lone pairs. And I don't know why that bond's so long. Let's see if I like select it and shrink. Nah, it's gonna make me add another one. I don't want that. Oh wait, <laughs> undo. Uh, it's not undoing. Is that undo? Yes, undo that too. Yes. And then let me see. Is this selection? Whoa! It just switched it around. That was interesting. All right. So yeah, I don't use this much, but oh, I liked what it did there. I don't know. It looks good now. One, two, three, four, five. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit. I think it comes out nicer when you zoom in if you want it to look better. And then on my Mac, I'm going to do Command, Control, Shift, press 4, and now my cursor looks like this. And if I drag out a box, I'll get it. And then if I didn't want that one, or if I didn't have Marvin Sketch, I can... Just Command V and I paste in my structure. So either one's fine. Uh, I like Marvin Sketch a little better, but you could use the other one. And then um, if you're using Google 
slides like this. You can insert arrows. I like to use the curve, curve one. And I would do something like this. Like I draw a line out, I let up my click, move it down here, let it click again. Boom, there I am. And I'll add on an arrowhead like that. There we go. If I want to change the color, I can. And then, oh, I want to have a hydrogen, an SP3 carbon to hydrogen shown, huh? So maybe I'll do this. Drawing this one as a representative. Control Command Shift. Now you'll see this is covering up my arrow, but I can rearrange that. I can do this. I can, one easy way is click on my arrow, cut and paste it, and now it's on top. And I can add another curve. Here we go. Add on arrowhead, and there we got it. Not so bad, right? You can type your name up here for the text box. Boom, whatever. All right, so that's how you can, uh, use a Mac to do this sort of thing. If you have a PC, um, there might be a command, like a shortcut, like I just did, where you, you hold down certain keys to do what I did. But uh, I don't know of it, but I do know of a program called Snippet. Snipping tool. Yeah, so the snipping tool. And I'm pretty sure all like PCs have this, if you're not having a, if you have like a, HP PC or uh, Sony or Google, whatever, it's going to be good. So check that out. Uh, just It's actually search your computer for a snipping tool, and it'll probably pop up, and then it gives you the same kind of thing where you can like drag a box over an area and copy just that area. You could also take a screenshot on your, on your keyboard. You might have a button that screenshots the entire screen, and then you can crop it. I should probably show you that really quick too. So cropping, it's nice, a nice thing to know how to do. Like let's say I didn't want as much white down there. If I click on this, I can crop it down in, like ooh, cut a little bit of that out and make the box a little smaller. So if I had taken a full screen capture of everything on the screen, I could crop that down. Like or for example, let's say I did this, there we go. I got like a big old piece of screen, right? Oh, I got all that right there and I don't want all of that. So I might just take and uh, get it only what I want out of it, you know, like this. Oh, it's confusing because it's, <laughs> it's this dumb things over here. I don't know what's going on. All right, I'm just going to to the side to see what I got so far. Okay, I got to make it smaller. But see, now I could crop down some more if I wanted. But the other way, the way I'm doing it, but not taking a whole screen, it saves me some time from having to crop as much. I think I did the wrong thing there. Okay, and that's, uh, that's like the screenshot, whatever. Okay, hope it helps.